moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. I'm really tired of political goons claiming that God told them to run for office or go to war or go to the bathroom. First of all, if there were a God, he or she wouldn't want anything to do with this ringling brothers Barnum and Bailey cluster fuckus we have going here. Motto, the greatest puppet show on earth. Alternative motto, step right up, take a gander as corporate hacks pander and slander. Rick Santorum says that God told him to run for president because Satan is trying to take down America. Apparently this God of his thoroughly hates gays, women, black people, Latinos, everybody earning under a hundred grand a year, and considering evangelicals only act friendly to the Jews because they believe all the Jews need to be in Israel in order to bring about Judgment Day in which the Jews will burn in a fiery hell for eternity. I'm going to go ahead and add the Jews to that list. Santorum's God despises all of those people. What a douchebag lord. If you had ten kids and treated nine of them like shit, people would call you a dick face to your face. And yet that guy somehow landed the job of God? They need to get some new people in the HR department, for Christ's sake. Mitt Romney belongs to a religion that believes in magic underwear. How weird is this shit gonna get? I let it slide with the magic crackers, the magic wine, the magic facial hair, the magic shrouds, the magic scrolls, the magic hats, but there is nothing magic about a wedgie. Seriously, hearing voices from a dude who tells you to bomb the shoes off of people in other countries should not be a feather in the cap of a presidential candidate. It should disqualify them from running. They're hearing voices in their heads. If I said the fucking tooth fairy told me to run for president, you wouldn't vote for me. You wouldn't even talk to me. I have nothing against schizophrenics, but perhaps they shouldn't be your first call in the case of a nuclear standoff. The actor... Jimmy Stewart starred in a well-known movie called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington in which he's elected to office. He starred in another famous movie in which an imaginary giant white rabbit talked to him and told him what to do. Let's stop combining the two when we're picking a president. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you didn't catch it, check out my appearance last week on Countdown with Keith Olbermann, in which I talk about this same issue. You can just click right here. And also, please donate what you feel this episode is worth at LeeCamp.net. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.